Hey guys, it's Chrissia with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Aries. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, let us look at what we have for your connection with your person, Aries. You and your person. There is some sort of victory going on. <laughs> Maybe some public recognition. People are clapping, cheering. Ooh. <laughs> and it's gone. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Somebody is not fighting for something any longer. Not wanting to do battle here. Let's see. This is somebody that might be unfocused, impulsive, aggressive, ruthless. Maybe burnt out. Hmm. Anxiety is here. This might be some karma. Something's going on here. Aries. Somebody wants to come in passionately. Maybe this is you coming in to save your person. Maybe your person wants to come in. Oh, something's coming to light or it's going to affect your pr happiness. Having to walk away from something here. What's going on for Aries and his person? Ooh, marriage is here. Walking away from a marriage possibly here. Aries, whoa, 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 yes. We have the wheel is turning in your favor here. And that's the only one I'm going to look at. And we have healing something. Wow. Yeah, this is a teardown of something that was maybe feeling good about something at some point and then it all just tore, got torn down right to the bottom. Huge upheaval, something that was life changing, not something that was temporary. This was, um, this was an ending of some sort. I mean, with the tower, <laughs> we're kind of looking with that Mars energy, how you deal with your life. This is a sudden change, an upheaval. This could be an awakening or accepting some type of change. That's okay. Sorry about that. I, somebody messaged me. Okay, here, let's see. Let's have a look and see what the after tarot has to say. I always put that too far that way, and then I got no room for the other cards. All right, let's see here. What's the six of wands? What's the victory here? What's the victory that was so short lived here that we're seeing? Hmm. This is somebody that wants to reconcile with somebody here. Feeling that they can get this victory with somebody. Aries, what's going down? Oh boy, truth is here. And somebody might be a revengeful here. And has tore everything down by speaking some type of truth to you or to your person. Take it however it resonates for you. What is... The, is that the knight? Yeah, the knight of swords in reverse. This person that's impulsive. Healing, wanting to heal something here. Feeling left out in the cold, having anxiety, maybe even going through some poverty. Somebody feels they're picking the right cup and moving fast, moving forward passionately here. Now with the Knight of Wands, that's charging ahead energy, that passion. A lot of energy behind it, inspired by something. Having the full armor on. That courage and adventure. Picking a cup. It looks like a bunch of jewels are in there. Somebody really feels like they picked the right card here. What's the sun about? Hmm. Something's coming to light about maybe thinking or 
feeling like daydreams because it looks like it's during the day that's something you would have at night maybe even day and night that this person thinks about you it could even be that something's coming to light in your nightmares or your dreams you're finding a way to slay this monster these nightmares and hold them back from keeping you awake at night you may be trying to get more sleep something you're really thinking about that you really want to take action on once you find out some type of truth wanting to heal something maybe changing your behavior I'm kind of getting here with this reckless and I'm focused this burnout type of energy wanting to heal this with the three of swords that's been pulled from the heart has been patched up and healing it what's this walking away or boating away having the courage here to walk away from somebody maybe maybe that you're married too let's see what's the hierophant here where's the hierophant here you may have been married to this queen of wands some type of truth you're getting though hmm knight of wands in reverse when it comes to marriage maybe you don't want to get married maybe you don't want to be married this is kind of that unmotivated towards a marriage lacking self-control being superficial volatile impatient and reckless this is kind of opposite of what whatever you were rushing forward to do picking a certain cup here thinking about somebody night and day and wanting the courage to leave something that you're not happy about that you're not motivated to maybe stay with this whatever this marriage is what what is this wheel of fortune with the healing with the four of swords here and the four of swords is like sanctuary getting away from somebody um, from previous pain needing to rest in peace not necessarily to end their life but just to get away from whoever this is so that they can have some peace and quiet and try to heal whatever was happening or to get away from whatever is painful here what is this wheel of fortune ah this is judgment this is maybe somebody's calling judgment on this this is somebody getting karma it could be this queen of wands that is getting this revenge she could be getting karma here and I kind of feel here oh well, let's see yeah for juggling she, the truth may be somebody juggled somebody here what's the healing oh, they are watching your social media they are watching you so somebody's experiencing some karma here and somebody else's wheel of fortune is turning in their favor I feel like Aries you may be watching somebody heal here or somebody's healing you may be watching this person maybe they have healing energy you're wanting to get away from somebody that's very revengeful maybe you find out something that they did towards you maybe they're trying just to steal your money or take something from you the star in reverse okay <laughs> this is Aquarius energy here and this is all about analytical this is about smarts and it, it's in reverse and I'm feeling this whatever this person's doing they they're not feeling well it could be you um, not feeling fulfilled was unfulfilled in something no faith feeling unworthy or in despair 
Maybe you've been in an illusion. There's no hope for something here. Huh. Okay. Well, let's look at the love frequency you have and your person has, Aries. Let's see what's going on here. I kind of feel like there's three people involved here. Could be just two people that are having issues and one wants to get away from the other to go towards something else. Looking at picking another cup. Ah, oh, that went on the floor. Hang on, guys. Okay. Trust went onto the floor here. I feel like somebody isn't trusting something anymore. They want to. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So let's see what's going to happen here. For Aries, please. Whoa, and it threw it on the floor again. Okay, these are major things that are coming out here. Hang on. Okay, sorry about that again. All right, so it says that your love life might be affected by children. Maybe you have children with this person. Maybe you want to have children. Maybe they don't. Maybe that's an issue. And Spirit's saying it is safe for you to love. So open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, which is love. So let's have a look. What about your person, Aries? What are they feeling in their love frequency, their energy right now? Wow, okay, something's coming soon here. Whoa, true love is coming soon here. <laughs> wedding what <laughs> and getting to know each other wow I want to put this one in here because I don't think you're gonna get to know each other after the wedding well who knows <laughs> some people get married really fast so but we're gonna just leave it as is there let's look at the combo here love yourself first there needs to be some self-love for somebody here aries this could be you this could be your person wow okay let's have a look and see what are the intentions you have towards your person aries what is your intentions towards your person okay we have palm tree so you're looking for stability, security. There's growth here. You've learned some lessons here, life lessons. And you've learned to and maybe be more flexible, compromise. You're persevering here. There's endurance here. So you're willing to go the distance, I feel. What is your intentions towards your person, Aries? Oh, you like this person. Whoa, <laughs> engagement ring flipped right out again. I'm not taking all of these. Wow. I see self-indulgence and uh, engagement ring, and I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming, blooming. Fun, flirting, want to date. Aries. Okay. So self-indulgence, I'm not going to take that one, but we will take that one, which is about that self-love, self-appreciation, time to heal, do your shadow work, focus on yourself. We have engagement ring here, and wow, welcoming love, meeting the one, whoa, engagement ring, no wonder, holy hell, this is crazy, all right. <laughs> So it's possible when they meet you, your energy Pisces, or Pisces, or maybe they are a Pisces, Aries, whatever, whatever happens when you meet this person, your person, okay, may not be the person you're running from. This could be someone else because we have somebody's choosing uh, maybe even a new cup here. And I feel like when you meet your person, you're going to like them right away. You're going to feel their self-worth. You're going to have your self-worth and know that you are worthy of this person and they are worthy of you. I feel like with the key to the heart here, you definitely feel like this is the one I want to marry. This is my person. You're going to know. Your other person's going to know. Well, your person's going to know. 
and they may even feel like it's coming in soon this true love they're gonna want to get to know you and there may be a, a wedding <laughs> quickly what's their intention towards you Aries let's see what are their intentions towards you what's their intentions please spirit okay wow there's unconditional love coming in here there seems to be a camera somebody maybe is looking at you um online they learn something from their past here they have a different perception perhaps they want to make memories there's a love call here someone expresses love a message of love thinking of you and letting you know oh no frustrated in a relationship so this may be this relationship that they are already in okay <laughs> I kind of feel like they want to take a new cup because they want to they may feel like they may be left out in the cold once this truth comes in or they're leaving someone else in the cold and choosing a new cup going towards somebody passionately that makes them happy they might be thinking or having sleepless nights maybe seeing this person maybe you've never met them you have the strength and you may be worried that they're gonna walk away from you and be not enough okay and this is being unfulfilled in a marriage here somebody's gaining getting karma here and somebody else's wheel is turning in their favor there's healing here and I feel like somebody's watching somebody else maybe go through this karma. Maybe a front row seat to it. Now, somebody may feel like they have a lack of confidence. They may want to self-sabotage. There may be some fear, ego issues, or jealousy here. So, somebody may feel a little weary about this I get one more let's get one more talking it out so you have very interesting conversations with this person they might message them and speak with them you may not be in the same area so perhaps you're going on vacation when you meet this person what's the combined energy oh look at you guys you're ascending you may both be ascending here learning from your past preparing for a union expanding into a new phase and transcending obstacles wow <laughs> well let's see what lessons maybe you need to learn or you have learned in the past here let's see what kind of things we're looking at here all right angel of balance learning how to balance things maybe having an attachment that needs to change here and that could be this queen of wands maybe it's just a friend maybe it's an ex that you were married to whatever it is they may have lied to you you've gotten some type of truth about somebody here that you really like you're passionate about and they may make you really happy you might be having dreams about them and then having them turn to a nightmare where maybe they get married to someone else you may be worried that they're going to walk away from you um, but finding the courage to maybe come forward I feel like this person may still be married to someone else maybe just separated from them I'm kind of feeling they're getting karma and I feel like Aries your wheels turning you're healing things let's get a couple more here yeah there's deceit behind this so now not that you're deceitful Aries this could be this person here that's revengeful here and you're learning the truth about this person it may have been something you needed to see this may be one of the lessons you needed to take notice of somebody around you that maybe you your intuition may have been touching on but you didn't maybe didn't want to believe that they would do anything to you like this 
and ignored your intuition. It could be simple as that and that you weren't paying attention to things around you where had you been paying attention you may have seen it. So let's look at your person. Hmm. The community may know about this person, that they're on their path. And the thinking woman, okay, so this person, Ascended Masters, this thinking woman here could be very intuitive, very smart. I feel like definitely on her path, and the community might be taking notice. Maybe she has an occupation that's on social media or something. And I feel like this is... When you're on your templed path, I feel like this is your purpose. This is something you're meant to be doing. So somebody deceives somebody here though, and it's somebody close to you, Aries, I feel. Let's see, let's get one more for the both of you. This one is for you, this one is for your person. Yes, they are balanced as well with the yin and the yang. And goddess of the moon. Okay, so very mysterious to you. Maybe you are the feminine here. You could be the masculine here. Take it however it resonates, flip it, switch it, whatever you need to do. Let's look at the combined energy. Uh, an ending for a new beginning to come in here. This is maybe what your angels, ancestors, and spirit guides have been trying to alert you to. You may have been seeing synchronized uh, numbers here like 444, 345, 3456. Let's see here. What action are you taking towards your person? Is there any action you're taking towards your person, Aries? What's the action you're planning to take here? Ah, you're going to try healing some type of karma or chaos going on here. That could be why the healing's here. But just remember, if you take on someone else's karma, it now becomes your karma. And you now you may have some of the losses of whatever this person is experiencing. Ah, you may be protected or you're giving somebody protection or your person's protecting you. Let's see here, Aries. If your person is ascending and on their path here, they may be protecting you. <laughs> you are getting some blessings here. Your person may be your blessing. This is your end all be all. The wedding with engage. This is the one. Like <laughs> This is somebody you're going to be able to trust. There's a lot of potential between the two of you. Perhaps you're meant to do something together. Let's have a look at your person here. Oh, they may be focused on something here that they are doing. And they're going through their transformation, so they're absolutely ascending here. Doing their shadow work and healing, they may be very um, delight in the simple things. They just love all the world has to offer. They may be very excited about things, um, simple things that you wouldn't think would be so exciting. And there's, they just bring this energy to this. I'm feeling this youthful energy, young at heart, and just, yeah, I can't wait to do this. Or I'm going fishing, yeah, <laughs> kind of <laughs> energy. Yeah, they're very open. I feel like they may tell you their life story. <laughs> Some people are just like that. They have nothing to hide. There's nothing they are ashamed about or feeling that they, you know, that they need to leave out. They're, they've healed everything. They've asked for forgiveness for anything. Whatever shame they may have had, if they had anything to be shameful about, they've already transcended all that and worked through all the shadow work. So they're very open about pretty much anything. I think it's almost like 
I'll eat anything. <laughs> you know, it's just, they're not picky. They're very, uh, you know, they delight in the simple things, just staying at home and spending time together, watching a video or doing, working together on a project. Or I, I just feel like this person is really going to make you go, wow, or you're going to be in awe of this person. What's this? Wow, look at that. There's abundance between the two of you here. So whatever it is, you're really meant to be with this person. I feel like you're really meant to work on something that is really going to gain a lot of abundance between the two of you. Whatever needs to end and whatever chaos you're trying to heal, you may be protected and it may work. There may be blessings behind this. You may need to learn something quickly before the next step. There's a lot of potential between the two of you. But just remember, even though there might be potential, with potential, don't have any romantic illusions that this person can live up to this potential. Because even if you see the potential in them, that does not mean that they see the potential in them. You could be waiting a lifetime for this person to reach that potential. And they may never reach it because it's what you see in them. They may not see that in themselves and may not even have it in them to reach what you feel they could get to. So it isn't about what they have for potential. It's more what is right now, right? So don't, don't go on so much whatever potential that they might have. Focus more on what is right now. What are they able to give you right now? Okay, the potential that might come from your union, I feel is going to be whatever you both work on together. That is what's going to be abundant. Let's see, what is the outcome here for Aries? What is the outcome for Aries? Wow, well, we have a main male. <clears throat> so Aries, you may be a masculine or this feminine. If you were an Aries that's a feminine, you might be thinking about a masculine. This might be somebody, a brother, a sibling. It could be a love interest. This could be somebody in your family that is going through some bad health. It could just be strep throat. It could be the flu. You know, I mean, it could be as simple as that, or it could be more life changing or life threatening. So take it however it resonates for you. Hmm. I feel like whatever's going on here, this bad health may affect how this person can make money, Aries. Now, whether this is you as a main male, or if you are the main male thinking about your person that may be in bad health and may be at a poverty level, that's going to end with the number 10 then, 10 there. This is all going to end with this poverty and there's abundance here with your person. There's going to be somebody getting a divorce, whether that's you or your person's take it however it resonates for you. But if you are married, I would feel that you need to be very upfront and honest about any relationships you are running from. If you are married, this person should know you're married. If you are separated, this person should know that you're separated, that you're not divorced yet. Are you the rebound? You know what I mean? Like, be upfront and honest with your person that you are going to have in your life. If there's, if there's a divorce, you know, just be upfront and honest before you start trying to give someone else an engagement ring if you're still married. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right, let's get your person's outcome here. What is your person's outcome going to be here? Oh, that's a lot. 
let's just get those. Yeah, yeah we could do that. It's four. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so there is courtship first. Okay. There's some expectation here. Maybe somebody's expecting a child. The community you might find out about this and that marriage is coming for you. Perhaps you don't want to have the baby without being married first. Some people's religion are like that and it could be as simple as just expecting people from the community to talk about a marriage. So whatever this expectation is, maybe you have maybe Aries you have an expectation that this courtship is going to end up in marriage but try to be in the flow try not to control the narrative try not to um, <laughs> manipulate the direction in which this is going let it just flow be carefree and enjoy it let's see Oh, look at that. Maybe getting married and getting into a house here. What do we have? One more here just to round it out. What? Great fortune. I saw that abundance here. And I really felt that things between the two of you with the potential and the blessings and just the transformation of all of it this is beautiful you're gonna rake a lot of money together there's something you're meant to do and it's as simple as that it's gonna bring you both abundance and great fortune wow this person because this is your person's energy here they may be the one that's bringing the good fortune or the abundance here this great fortune all right so this person is ascending you may both be ascending this is a true love though there might be children here and I feel like you're both going to need to trust here but like I said make sure you don't hide anything about any other relationships that you're in already or walking away from or whatever it is be upfront and honest all right what's the outcome for you both uh, there's a main female here as well this could be your main female or this could be if you are already married this could be this main female <coughs> so <laughs> do you go back to your person they're expecting you to court them maybe you're already married to this person maybe you were just engaged to them and you were supposed to get married maybe you got cold feet and took off for a little while <laughs> you know your story let's look at what the intuition is at the bottom of the deck here <coughs> well oh, that's the tarot after let's look <coughs> whoa okay well we don't want any cards we're just going to crack the deck all right, this is your person's intuition and what it's telling them. Wow, that there is a financial opportunity or blessing here. So your person may know or realize if they are walking a pathway here, they may be very intuitive or they know something's coming in for them that is this great fortune and abundance and love, this blessing. Wow, okay, and what is your intuition telling you? Ah, <laughs> to invest the money, the great fortune. <laughs> you may be an investor. You may <clears throat> want to really invest in this person. Let's see here. All right, what is your person's after tarot? Yeah, there's a cup of love here. And what about you, Aries? Yeah, you guys want to plan something. So there is an offer, maybe just a little offer from your person, Aries, or if this is you giving an offer. It may not be a lot, but that it's not about that for this person. It's about love, okay? So 
and planning your future. You're going to have a beautiful future, Aries. Things are starting to come together. <laughs> I'm really liking this. But whoever this person is, you're going to find out that they are a liar, okay? To be put it simple, that Ace of Swords came up twice. This may not be the first time this person maybe tried to keep you from your person, okay? This may have been a few times that they have tried to make you feel less than so you wouldn't move forward with somebody else. They may be very jealous of this person or they may want to take revenge towards you um, <clears throat> and keep you from your person. So you're going to know who this person is. If you don't know now, I feel like you're going to pay attention and maybe find out. Maybe somebody will tell you. But some truth is coming out here and you're going to want to heal something with someone else that maybe you ghosted or perhaps you um, run into when you're on vacation and realize that maybe the person you're with isn't your person. Maybe this new person is. So spirit saying to trust the process here is kind of what I'm feeling all right, Aries, this is what I have for you. A lot of great things for you and your person to come together, plan your future. A lot of abundance, great fortune. Wow. <laughs> and wedding. True love, though. So that's beautiful. All right. Take care, guys. Stay blessed. All right. We'll see you next time. Later.